about kind of um, several various different topics. I don't really have a specific uh, single topic for this video. I'm just going to kind of go on a little bit of a rant of some things that have been on my mind about MBTI in general and um, typing other people. I think with MBTI, there's a tendency to um, have like this very specific ideal about a type in someone's mind. Um, they kind of formulate um, with just reading the descriptions of like an ENFP or an ISFJ or ISTJ or whatever, you kind of have this mental picture in your head of what you think the type will look like in real life and how they will act and how they converse. And although there is some truth to some of those um, observations and things that you have read in type description, they're not always true because I think with typing you really have to meet people in real life and converse with them and ask them questions because uh, types don't always look like what you have in your mind and when they contradict that people tend to say oh they're not the right type they're mistyped and I think that's a dangerous place to look at typing I really think you need kind of experience with people interacting with people because no human will ever look exactly the same even with them being in the same type category. Um, I've met INFJs who are very similar to me, uh, felt like twins, and then I've met INFJs that are very, very different from me. And a big reason is because a lot of different things come to play in the typing rather than just in BTI. And I haven't really talked about those things because I want to have more knowledge on them before I discuss them, but um, I really think Enneagram comes into play. I think instinctual variants come into play, sexual, social are secure, and I also think your culture, um, the area where you grew up, what your type parents are, all come into play um, with how you act as an individual even within your type. Now I will say to me personally I believe the whole backbone of MBTI is cognitive functions. Um, that's the foundation, that's where it starts. I feel like if you don't have a well understanding of cognitive functions, then it's, it's, it's really easy to get mistyped. I mean, cognitive functions to me are really important. Um, you know, the type descriptions are very interesting, and I do think um, if you are taking the test of MBTI that you should really relate with your description, because if you're not, there's probably a sign that you might be mistyped. Um, like I stated in another one of my videos, when I read the INFJ description, I was completely just taken aback. I was like, how can a test write, you know, whatever, how many, five paragraphs and describe me, like, so detailed? And I'm not saying you'll always have that experience when you're, uh, being typed, you might get something the first time and not relate with it, but that's a good sign. Like if you're not relating with the type description, then you're probably mistyped. There's a lot of flaws in the um, online test. I've taken many, I've probably taken six, um, and I've also taken cognitive function test. So I would encourage you to really study the cognitive functions because that's what's really gonna set you apart from mistyping. Um, so yeah, and you know, there's other things within MBTI as well. Um, there, there are uh, what they call INFJ subtypes, and there's subtypes within every type that even look very different. Um, for the INFJ, which I will read, I'm not going to get into the full description um, because it's paragraphs and paragraphs, and I'll probably link this down below. But even, I'm not a, I don't really, I'm not super into socionics. Um, but some of these subtypes that they describe are interesting. They say um, there is the intuitive NI heavy INFJ and there's the ethical FE INFJ and they manifest and appear to different others a little bit differently. Now does that mean that they are um, not using the cognitive functions in the right order? No. I think sometimes certain types are heavy on in certain areas. Um, you know, you can sometimes see with INFJs, the ones that are more FE heavy, 
and the ones that are more TI heavy and they get mistyped as INTJ even though they are actually an INFJ because they are using TI, they're just TI heavy and so they appear uh, more thinking rather than feeling but that doesn't mean they have extroverted thinking. So these are just some things to kind of, I think the problem with some of people typing other people is just really a lack of understanding cognitive functions and how people operate. Um, and also just how different humans are in general. Um, it also depends what um, the person is in interested in individually. Um, you might meet an INFJ that's a complete science nerd and all into the sciences and very analytical and very smart and there are INFJs like that. Or you might meet an INFJ that is more about um, helping others and being in the community and doing good and stuff like that. Or you might meet an INFJ that's in the arts, that's an actor or a performer. It, um, there's differences within the type based on what they are drawn to. But they're still at the backbone of the type using the same cognitive functions. I think it's very dangerous when we type people based on just behavior patterns alone or personality, their personality. I think some of that can be consistent within type and other types it can be different based on entrance and stuff like that. Like I know an Enneagram INFJ1 is going to be different than an Enneagram INFJ4 um, or an Enneagram INFJ5 or 6. We manifest differently based on core fears, desires, stuff like that. So I kind of just wanted to bring this up because I feel like people that have a lack of understanding of cognitive functions and some of the other things that influence type, they make very um, poor assumptions or they have read a description of a type and they think that they have to act exactly like that or they're completely not their type and they're mistype. And I just see it all the time and so I wanted to address it because I really would like to inform people to do more research, to look into this more, to not type people based on exactly how their personality is in the moment because although MBTI deals with personalities, it's really what cognitive functions is that individual using consistently. Um, and that's kind of hard to observe sometimes. I know especially with INFJs that make videos, um, you're going to see more FE in a lot of those videos because we are talking with people. We're very aware that we have an audience that's going to watch the video. So that function is engaged. Um, in I, uh, I have friends that know me really well who see my introverted intuition all the time. In fact, just the other day, my brother, who I've mentioned is an ENFJ, was like, you're always daydreaming all the time. It seems like you have your head in the clouds. And I've had friends say that, where it seems like you're daydreaming or your mind's off somewhere else. And what's happening is that I am going deep into my introverted intuition around people. That's kind of hard to observe in a video um, because I'm not... I'm talking, I'm interacting. If you were to watch me in a, a setting um, where I'm just around people in an environment, you'd probably see me go into NI pretty heavy. Or if um, I have a revelation or some kind of inspiration about something, I'll go on about it on, on like a very heavy NI rant. But um, I just kind of wanted to bring these things up because I, I think there's a lot more to people than just MBTI and a lot of misunderstanding within MBTI and within um, every type. I mean, I know ENFPs that are entirely different from each other. I know ENTPs that are entirely different from each other because they have different Enneagram, they have different instinctual variants, they were raised very differently, and their interests are different. So keep those things in mind when typing, guys. Um, MBTI is not just cookie cutter. It's more complex and humans are more complex than what meets the eye. So anyways, that is my rant, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully be putting up some more videos soon. And yeah, have a great day. Bye.